Hi, Julie Powell here. In this video, I'm going to have a little look at different ways to color grade your images in Luminar Neo. And there's a couple of different options depending on which way you want to go. I would start with um, doing your basic crop and um, any adjustments that you want to make. So I'm just going to make this 5 by 7 I'm just going to try and zoom through this bit pretty quick and I'm just going to apply that so um, I would suggest going into enhance AI just because it sort of gives everything a bit of a pop there's more contrast etc um, and then you can go into your basic um, edits in the develop module in essentials so you've got your basic exposure smart contrast and all the rest of it that you can play with and i'm just going to skip that for the moment because it's actually not bad done badly done i'm just going to go into the curves here so good old-fashioned curves that we can do in here so we can come in and do a little bit of color grading using the curves so um, you've got your red, green and blue and obviously the opposite of that is yellow, magenta and cyan. So if I click on the blue I can then play around with the shadows which is on the left and highlights which is on the right and I can pop a little bit of blues into the shadow and then I can come in and pop a little bit of yellows by dragging it down because that's the opposite of blue um, into the highlight so that's got a subtle S curve and it gives just a little bit of blue in the shadows and some yellow in the highlight so if I have a look at the before and after that's the difference that it made so that's using the curves now the next one and i'm just going to reset that so that it doesn't interfere with what else i've got the next one is actually color so you can come in and you can um, if you click on hsl to open it all the way you can come in and you can play with the saturation and vibrance on the image if you want to you can also remove any color cast that was on there so it's quite a yellow color color cast I managed to get on there I can also come in and I can play around with the hue the saturation and the luminance on my image so if for instance I wanted to sort of bring the um, pinks down a little bit um, I can play with all of my um, color variants there I can also play with the hue shift so I can actually move the entire hue of the whole image or I can come in and I can play with the individual hues here so um, I can play around with let's have a look at the blue so I can actually change the blue on the bird to more of a purple or I could bring it back to more of a cyan um, just playing around with all of that so that's another option that you have got to play with your color if you want to you can also come in and you can do masking on here so um, you can play around with the brush or linear gradients and all the rest of it so you can fiddle around um, you can change various hues on your image you can change the saturation on your image so if I take that down so the pull the pinks and the reds out of that top but I'm also pulling it out of her lips so I can come in here and I can paint it just on here not on the lips so that's another option that you can use so I'm just going to turn all that off and reset it so the next option that we have is that we can play with mood now what mood does it gives us um, various looking uh, look up tables or looks um, these were traditionally for video and film but it's now made its way over to still photography now they've actually changed this around a bit so you can um, 
you've got cinematic toning there's creative toning cross processing portrait toning there's also you can download new LUT files so or LUT files so if you click on that take you over to Skylum and you can there's various different um, lookups that you can get from there so um, and any that you have um, custom ones that you've done so I've got a whole heap of ones for uh, basically all Halloween and all the rest of it so um, they will be there so um, and the other great thing about it now is when you you get a preview when you hover over so you don't have to click on one and then see what happens click on the next etc you can just hover over it and see what you like um, you can adjust how the strength of it you can also mask it in and out you can add contrast to it you can also add or remove saturation from your image as well so the mood panel is really really quick and easy um, and it's really great to be able to give a cohesive look across a series of images so I'm just going to reset that one um, then last one that I want to have a look at is the color harmony down in the professional panel down the bottom so when you open that you've also got so you've got color contrast um, and split warmth colors that you can play with um, or you can come into your color balance this is really good because you can come in and you can actually do different colors um, like we did with the curve, curve tone in the shadows and highlights so if for instance I wanted to go into my drop down menu put shadows in and I can push that to more yellows uh, more blues I can come into my highlights and I can press that into more highlights so you can play around with that you can play around with the brilliance and the warmth so um, you can really get quite a, a nice look and feel to your image gives you a, a complete mood to your image so if I have a look at the before which is kind of flat um, now there's a lot more interest and warmth to the image as well as some contrast so that's four different ways that you can play with color in Luminar Neo which one you use is completely up to you you could use a combination of all of them you could just pick one and go with that um, you could just do the color harmony or just do the moods or even just use the curve panel all of them are great options to use so that's it from me thanks for watching bye for now